What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the X-Men Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Waves Phoenix. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get your Marvel Legends at Big 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Very empty looking packaging over here, right? You can see the Build-A-Figure piece down there and the X in the back on the yellow card. Anyway, on the side, a very cool image of the Phoenix. And then on the back, you can see the figure. There's a read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then there's the other figures from the Wave. Then on the side you get that same image of the phoenix, and then on top you get an X. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's our new phoenix figure out of the packaging. And I gotta say, out of all the figures from this wave, I feel the most flip-floppiest about this one over any of them. And I say flip-floppiest because I keep flip-flopping as far as me liking it to disliking it. I just keep, like, immediately I thought, oh, okay, this is, the, you know, this is the dud of the wave. Then I pick it up and I start posing it around a little bit, and I'm like, oh, actually, I think I kind of I like this and I try getting it to stand and then the high heels bother me now my gosh like, oh, shoot and then the face I'm like oh this is an ugly face and then I take a closer look at it and I'm like oh I think it's kind of realistic and I appreciate the hair so I keep going back and forth with this figure it's hard to get you know a real good rating for me on this one uh, but it's not bad I, I will say it. I don't think it's a bad Phoenix figure anyway let's take a closer look at her now, if you'd seen my unboxing video my first impression of this figure was that she looked like Celine Dion and I didn't like that and I still really don't really like that very much. However, I will say the fact that she does not look dead on Celine Dion makes me happy because it actually looks like a real person as opposed to this kind of generic face that I've seen from Gentle Giant before. If you guys don't know, Gentle Giant does the sculpting work for Hasbro, so that's why I keep mentioning that. Uh, this kind of looks more like a doll face, you know, and this one actually looks more like a real person. I like that they got the right paint color for her eyes, so she has the green eyes over there, and I like that lipstick color for her. I don't find her to be particularly pretty, but I do like this head sculpt because it does look like an actual person. So, at the end of the day, I am happy with this, even though her eyes are a bit peeled. And I guess if you really wanted to get nitpicky about it, that right eye is a bit off-centered and kind of cockeyed. Now looking at the hair, I am very pleased with the hair. This is one of the few times that we actually get shadowing of any paint in the figures from this wave. This is a rare case in this point. So looking at this, it looks really good. I really love having the wash in the red hair. That looks great, man. Very pleased with the sculpted work too. Very nice sculpting on this. So yeah, very impressed by the hair on this figure. I also like the paint throughout the rest of the figure, aside from it not having shadowing effect on the green areas. I really like the gold up here on the chest. I think that looks really nice. Nice clean phoenix emblem right over there. Very cool. It's not sculpted on, but it's there. Looks pretty good. Uh, this right arm looks pretty nice. I like the bright gold color that we get there. And the joint in there matches very well. Nice gesture, a little dab of green on that finger. And on this side, it gets a little fuzzy right over there, but other than that, it looks pretty solid. You know, you get a little notch from the molding. The hand looks all right. And looking at this little band right over here, it doesn't have the little Phoenix logo like how it's supposed to right there. Kind of miss that. And looking at the torso right there, I think that looks really good. I really like this body mold a lot. I believe we first saw this with the beetle. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But looking at the legs, looks pretty solid, you know, uh, is that the marbleization? Yeah, a little bit of the marbleization, but I think they've gotten a lot better. I believe this is gold plastic with the green painted on top, right? That's what it looks like to me anyway, yeah, because the green's slightly different here than it is right there. But, you know, bleeds together pretty well. But they blend in together pretty well. Doesn't look bad to me. I like the legs. Yeah, so the marbleization is there a little bit, but not so bad on this compared to some others. And you can see it right there as well. I don't like that she has these heels. Ah, man, that frustrates me. It makes it harder for her to stand, and I just think it would look better if she did not have the heels. I prefer to her having, you know, the flat feet like the Jean Grey over here does. So yeah, that bothers me. And she does have peggles at the bottom of her feet. Then you're just looking at the back of the figure, and ooh, look at those ginger nalgas. Yeah, not too bad. Now the articulation isn't terrible. Terrible, but it's not great on this figure. As far as her looking up, she looks up a tiny bit. She does have a neck hinge joint in there. I'm trying to move the head up without moving the torso, but that's as far... Yeah, she doesn't really look up at all, man. She's just 
just a tiny, tiny little bit, but she does look down a lot, and she does have that forward and back shifting right over here, so maybe, yeah, no, yeah, she doesn't look up that much. Comparing her to the Series 6, she can look up only a tiny bit as well, so neither of these figures have great head movement as far as looking up goes, but she does look down a lot. Uh, getting her to move side to side, you can see it is, you know, this, oh man, yeah, you have to lift the hair over the shoulder, and that's like popping the head off, so that's as far left and right as she can move, you know, so not a full turn. She has a great amount of head pivot over here though. Her shoulders move outward, they do move forward, no bicep swivel and no double jointed elbows, only a single jointed elbow with the swivel right there. And then she does have rotation and then it hinges up and down. She has a decent diaphragm joint, it rotates side to side, it does crunch forward and it does move back quite a bit and it does have some nice pivot in there as well. Her hip joints move outward that much and she can kick forward that much, moves back, uh, not much at all. She has a thigh cut right there, double jointed knees, then the ankles move down, up, and she does have ankle pivot. Now to measure the Phoenix over here, you can see that she is standing at six and a half inches tall. And for your Jean Grey comparison, we have the Dark Phoenix figure from Toy Biz, along with the regular Series 6 Phoenix over here from Toy Biz as well. Then we have the Jean Grey from the Rocket Raccoon Wave. Now looking at this one, it really makes me think, ooh, are we gonna get a variant Dark Phoenix from Hasbro? That would be really cool. And again, I don't like that she has heels, but you can see that the height difference makes sense here, right? Especially compared to this one right over here. And I am not sad one bit that we missed out on the White Phoenix. I'd much rather have this one than a White Phoenix. Even though it kind of leaves me a little confused what I'm going to do with this one now because I have this. So I and then to compare Phoenix to a couple of Cyclops figures, we have the Toy Biz Sentinel Wave Cyclops, and then we have the Astonishing Cyclops from the Puck Build-A-Figure Wave. And man, look at all that paint detailing on this guy. Boy, I miss that. Don't you miss that? And then here's Phoenix next to the other figures from the Wave that I've already reviewed. You can see we get a good amount of female characters in this wave. Very cool. And then here's Phoenix next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Jean Grey, big fan, love your work. Uh, just wanted to know if you could do me a favor and make me pretend I'm flying. I've always wanted to fly. Whoa, so sweet, I'm like a birdie. Woo, brr, 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 yeah. Uh -oh, what's oh! And then here's the Phoenix with the Marvel Select Phoenix base, and I think that looks really cool. If you want to see how this looks with the Marvel Legends Phoenix base, stay tuned. I'll have a photo up in the slideshow at the end of this review. But anyway, I kind of like this figure. Not a bad figure. Can't say I'm stoked about it, but not bad. Not great. It's okay, you know? It's an okay Phoenix. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shard all over your face. Please hit the like button to help out this channel or leave a comment if you wish to do so. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so by clicking that button right over there for more videos. If you want to check out yesterday's review, I did it on the Marvel Legends Havoc, so click that button right over there to see the Havoc review. Then if you want to see the review before that, it was on the Kitty Pride from the very same wave, so check out Kitty Pride by clicking right over there. If you want to stay up to date with me, go ahead and follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, especially if you're going to San Diego Comic Con. If you want to meet up with me over at San Diego Comic Con, you definitely have to follow me on the social media. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images from this review, you can find it at MarvelousNews.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. Uh, on a medium...